Let's go and return it to the lady. The, uh, the antique store. Our mission will be complete. Alright, we're making progress now. Totally do this, man. We're gonna totally do this. Excellent. Now we can save our progress and continue our mission. Oh, it's exciting. All right. Let's examine our cage with our hand. You remove the cloth from the cage. Yes. Looking at the bottom of the cage, you find that a letter has become stuck to it. A, a letter? What does it say? The paper is slightly crumpled and dirty, having somehow become stuck to the bottom of a birdcage. Can I read it? The paper is slightly crumpled and dirty, having somehow become stuck to the bottom of a birdcage. Alright, maybe she can help me, the uh, antique lady. The little old lady is tiny, with twinkling blue eyes. Okay. Her white hair is done up in a neat bun on top of her head. Indeed. She appears at first to be in her 60s. Then you notice the sheer quantity of makeup plastered on her face, and decide that she may well be older than that. I wonder if he's a witch, too. Let's give her the cage. You offer the nightingale to Angelina. The sheer elation mm -hmm. on her face almost <clears throat> makes the whole risk worth the while. All right. What you say? She snatches it from you and proceeds to fuss over the bird. You <clears throat> wait for a moment, but it seems she no longer notices you. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> About the lamp you promised me in trade for the nightingale? The shopkeeper looks up at you vaguely. She gradually remembers that there is another being in her world. Of course. Yes? Oh, yes, take it. You'll have no beginning of use with it. Don't you mean no end of use? Of course. Whatever you say, dear. You hear Angelina muttering cheerfully to herself as she exits. Finally, mm. I have the final ingredient for that marvelous youth potion. Uh -oh. I'm going to beat you to the punch, my dear Agatha. So oh. you're right for hoarding a sweet, juicy thing to yourself. Uh -oh. You feel a nauseous tinge in your stomach. Well, at least the lamp is now yours. I'm, just, I'm a little bit curious about that note, so I'm going to restore. And I'm going to just go back a bit and see if I can give her the note first. Maybe she can read it. You remove the cloth. Looking at the bottom. All right, let's give her the note. Maybe she can help. Angelina is not interested in that. All right. Let's give her the cage. We have no choice. You offer the nightingale to Angelina. Okay. She snatches it. <clears throat> if you don't mind, about the lamp you promised me and trade for the nightingale? Yes. The shopkeeper looks up at you vaguely. She gradually remembers that there is another being in her world. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes, take it. You'll have no beginning of use with it. Don't you mean no end of use? Mm -hmm. Of course. Whatever you say, dear. You hear Angelina muttering cheerfully to herself as she exits. Finally, I have the final ingredient for that marvelous youth potion. I'm going to beat you to the punch, my dear Agatha. Serves you right for hoarding this sweet, juicy thing to yourself. You feel a nauseous tinge in your stomach. Yeah. Well, at least the lamp is now yours. Let's get the lamp. You take the old lamp. Okay. Let's examine it. 
The oil lamp is fashioned of brass and has been tarnished. There's a spout at one end and a round handle at the other. The lamp is empty inside. What happens when I rub it? You rub the lamp and wait expectantly, but nothing happens. You're about to give it another try when a small puff of smoke appears at the end of the spout. Okay. And it clears, revealing... All right. Poof. A note. As you remove it, the lamp disappears. You read the scroll. Okay, what does it say? Uh, to the unlucky fool who bought this lamp. As you may have gathered, this lamp no longer contains a fabulous genie. As my former master, <coughs> praise him and his greatness, has released me with his final wish. However, as a consolation, please be advised of the following. The shopkeeper is not to be trusted. She dabbles in the black arts and keeps rather distasteful company. May these words reveal what lies beneath, and may your findings lead you to a higher position in life. So hard like a stone and white like the snow, stand silent the man who guards what's below. May you forever know the beauty of freedom. Signed, Nibor Sima Will Gini. Okay. That's very philosophical. It's the scroll you found inside the lamp. It's made of fine paper. You read the scroll. Okay, we already got that part. Ah, let's save our progress. Replace as uh, lamp note. A large and incredibly hefty looking mallet is propped up against the shelf. A small engraving on its head reads, Broggy. Broggy. You Let's grab couldn't it. even move it, let alone lift it. From behind this counter, the proprietor conducts her business. Okay. Some old shields are lying around in the antique shop. If you thought that you needed a shield, you would have brought along your virtually indestructible magical shield from home. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought that. You heard Angelina lock the door after she went through it. All right, save for progress as lamp note, and let's move on. See if we can get something of value at the library. Maybe Today's gaming video is brought to you by. Rule your Bitcoin. Sign up today and get $5 to invest with. Mogo Crypto is the easiest way to buy and sell Bitcoin in Canada. Try it out with a free $5 on us.